Hey, good morning, people. What's going on? It's Coop. Uh, click like and subscribe to Coop is Problematic. Mirror Music 99, according to hip hop. We're doing all the things. Um, it's going to be my first reaction video. Those of you following Mirror Music 99, shout out to Andrew. He's been doing reaction videos for Magic too. I thought it would be kind of cool if I piggyback off of him and start doing some of my uh, reactions to Magic 2 song. Uh, today we're going to start off with what I think is the best song on the album and arguably the best song that Hit Boy and Nas have done together, which is Slow It Down. So we're going to get into things. I'm going to give you a full breakdown. I'll, I'll tell you that the way this record starts off, we're not going to be... Uh, <laughs> We're not going to be listening to the record too long because the breakdown starts pretty soon. So I'm just going to take a second and get the song queued up. And we're going to get into things. Hope everybody's doing well this morning, feeling blessed. The growth is beautiful on all the channels. So shout out to the people for helping us grow. Click like and subscribe. Let's get into this. Like a junkie nigga out you know what I'm saying? And I'm a junkie, and that's my fix, money, you know what I'm saying? I need everything. Yeah, I need everything. Now it's like the last of us, don't be seen from a pop. Only the true understand me, but I see him as family. I saw this shit when I was 14, I counted. So, the first thing, the lines start off, Nas is always known for dropping gems, dropping knowledge. <clears throat> the knowledge starts on the first bar. If you're not familiar with the Nazca lines, the Nazca, uh, Nazca is actually a desert in Peru. And the Nazca lines actually take over a large space of the desert. But uh, it was said that around 500 BC, I believe, that uh, the indigenous people from the area made these inscriptions in the desert some of them are animals some of them are plants some of them are like undiscernible but the Nazca lines were said to be created so that the deities could see them and know that they were down there and so he, when he's saying Nas is like the Nazca lines can only be seen from up high he's actually alluding to how special his style is too and how it's really just only meant for supreme human beings so it's like you really got to catch like how he's dropping when he starts off. And he talks about his product, uh, prodigious nature on the record. You know, when he brings up the fact he was like, I was born at dawn with a poignant style. You know, he's letting you know that from very early on, he's been blessed with this gift. Yeah, I know what this is about. Niggas trying to deflect from the fact people sort of fizzle out. The people sort of trying to make hit songs that way wrong. This about the money, right? When he says that, that actually reminds me of the line uh, that ends the first verse on Take It In Blood. When he says, MCs are crawling out every hole in the slum. You'll be all right like blood money in a pimp's cum. And one of the beautiful things, too, is, is that, you know, Nas is actually uh, on this King's Disease and Magic Run alluded to like a lot of pimp and player talk, you know, like on um, Full Circle on KD1. Tilted brim like Goldie talking. Mich uh, uh, Bishop Magic Don Juan starts off Magic 2. And so the breakdown that's going to come at the end of this record like kind of lets you know some of the perspective about how Nas sees himself in this game. He's like literally telling you that he is like the Don Juan Goldie of this game and he's been pimping this game for a long time. You got attention, need to see the front. See in front of the world watching them shine. That's all they want. And I always get my cut. Imagine that making you what he's saying is that he chose a life of luxury over the streets he's talking about having a whip that costs so much you know like them custom cars and big boy cars the trunk will be in the front and it'll be customized and it'll only hold certain things 
The next part of the song is actually the part that I think is the, the, the important part. I'm going to break down why after we listen to it. Okay, so this is Magic 2. So when I was talking about Magic 2 theme-wise being more consistent than Magic 1, the bars that finish up this verse are what I'm talking about. <clears throat> he said, let's play a game. I give you a king of diamonds. The hand is faster than your eye. Check in your pocket. So he's letting you know. It's like, no, no, no. My style is like the ultimate magic trick. And it fits into the theme of magic. He's literally bar-wise giving you a magic trick in a bar in an album called Magic 2 on a record called Slow It Down. People need to peep out that Slow It Down theme-wise brings Magic 2 together more than any of the other songs because he's literally talking about his style being so supreme that it almost comes off like a magic trick. That's why he literally says, I disappear, reappear right in front of your optics, just like a magic trick. And then he goes, well, let's do what? What do you say? Slow it down now. I won't laugh at you. Slow it down. So he's started to embody the personification of being like the maestro magician in this set of themes for Magic 2. And so this is the maestro. This is the magician talking to the crowd. Like, slow it down. Was I moving too fast for you? You didn't see that trick that I just pulled off? Well, slow it down. I, if, if you need me to do it again, I'm not going to laugh at you. Like, I understand that the things that I'm doing, most people are not doing. So you're probably not used to this type of magic show. You're not used to this type of magic trick, this stage in the game for somebody this age either. Tupac reference. They really non-threatening. I bomb first and I stretch them. He's really going at a lot of his competitors too. This is one of those records that if you're actually like you know, a contemporary of his, you should feel slightly indicted by the bars. In a good way. breaking down how he's evolved too. Like when he came into the game, he's saying, I had a mean mug. Now I'm holding meetings with Saki over Kobe beef. He's saying my lifestyle is totally different now. The moves that I make are totally different. And he's dropping more knowledge when he says, trustees of the modern day custies. you all don't know, Bernie Grunman Studios in Cali and Hollywood has put out some of the greatest albums ever made. I believe Joni Mitchell uh, recorded her Shadows album there. Prince recorded in, in consecutive years. Dirty Mind got recorded in 1980 in that studio. Then Controversy got recorded a year later in the same studio. And then Thriller got recorded in the same studio a year later. I think Prince did Love Sexy. In that studio in 88, Dr. Dre did The Chronic in 92 in the studio. Um, Tupac did Me Against the World in 94 in that studio. So when he's bringing up Bernie Grunman's studio, well, some of the greatest projects that you've ever heard in rap and R&B have actually come out of that studio. So when he's talking about his flow as the hard substance, he's saying, like, the mix, the mix can only be done by the best. That would be Bernie Grunman's studios. So just a little quick history lesson. That's what I mean. Like, Nas is in the constant place of always dropping jewels, and this record is like a manifesto of that. The ending is where it's at. Slow it down, man. Breakdown. This is cold how he did this. I might be moving at light speed. I 
I might curve up my shit like I'm iced tea. Listen to what he says. Only thing that I pimp is this rhyming. Got some daily affirmations just remind me. Mm. I might be moving at light speed. To do what I'm doing is unlikely. This new emergency perfectly hurting them city suckers to emergency nightly. He's so clear about what he's doing. You know, when he's saying it, like, and it goes back to the magic. I might be moving at light speed. Then he brings it back down to earth to do what I'm doing is unlikely. Like, he's very well aware that no 50-year-old rapper's ever been this good, you know? And, and back to the pimp thing, I went to Iceland to sightsee. This new mink on me pricey. I might perm up my shit like I'm iced tea. American pimp, I'm on time. Only thing that I pimp is what? This rhyming. This record is a flawless 10 for 10. Um, as far as the production, I think this is probably one of the five to seven best beats Hit Boy has given him. It fits perfectly with the album theme. The subject matter is there. Nas's flow and voice is on point. Like you said, it sounds like he's been spending time at the spa. He literally sounds like the guy that was rapping on I Am which is amazing because that was, you know, half a lifetime ago. So this uh, this and Store Run, in my opinion, are the best songs of the entire series. I think there are some other records that are competing. Uh, Speechless would be up there and comes to mind. Nobody comes to mind. Uh, I personally like Love Ugly. The Truth comes to mind. Uh, I know people are big fans of Blue Benzes, but this is a... Uh, this is pinnacle stuff. Uh, Slow It Down belongs on Nas's greatest hits. And uh, I wanted to thank everybody for taking the time to listen to me do my first reaction video. You can expect to see this everywhere. Uh, click like and subscribe to Coop is Problematic. Mirror Music 99. And according to hip-hop, we're growing, we're ascending. You know, beautiful thing.